Hey everyone. So by the time you are creating your own callbacks, you probably worked with them dozens of times with event listeners, timers, or HTTP requests, things like that. Anything that required that asynchronous behavior. Uh, so let's just set up a very basic callback so we can see the structure. I'll call this function uh, make caps, which eventually it will do. And we'll just declare it as a very basic function, but I'm gonna pass in an argument called CB. Uh, stands for callback and what I'll do is I'll just run CB as if it was a function So I'm gonna say make caps and I'm gonna pass in an arrow function that console logs Hello All right, and let's see what happens here So I'm gonna use node to run app.js and it just ran it as if it was a function here So we call this an anonymous function because we don't have a name attached to it. We are just telling this function to run as soon as it's called. And we say console log hello. That's cool, except typically these uh, callbacks, they're gonna be processing data or doing something with it. Typically it requires like a certain amount of time or something. Uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna set this callback up to take in a string as the first argument. And so we're gonna make sure we pass in a string in here. Uh, let's say, Let's make this say hello. There we go, that's that second argument. All right. And what we're gonna have to do is we'll call this the caps result. Let's copy that and what we'll do is we'll console log the caps result. So let's do something and make sure we pass a result in here. So I'll create a constant uh, and this is gonna be called caps and it's gonna be equal to string dot to uppercase. And now what I wanna do is to make it available in here is pass caps inside of this callback. All right, so now let's run it and let's see what happens. Let's say node, oop, nope, node app.js. Callbacks aren't really the cleanest at handling errors, but it is possible. Uh, Node uses it a lot. It's called an error first callback. And what we want to do is, so in this case, we would want to pass a null object first. And in the case that caps, uh, let's, let's try to take in string. And in the case that the user did not pass in a string, um, let's make sure we send out an error instead. So I will say if str, if type of str does not equal string, what I want to do is call back Within, with an error object. So I'll say error. Uh, maybe not, we don't even have to pass an object. Let's just pass in a string that says uh, must be a string. And then this is uh, called an error first callback. So let's pass error inside here. And then say, if an error was passed, throw error. All right, so now in this case, I would expect this to work just as normal. We run it, we get hello. Let's go ahead and copy this, lay it down below here, and I will pass in five, an integer. Ah, so here we got the first one to pass, no problem. But then we ended up create, we ended up throwing an error, and the error message that we got was must be a string. Uh, that happened because we passed a five, that integer instead of a string.